guys welcome back to my channel so today as you can tell from the title i'm going to be trying out kira cares curl essence products today so we're going to see how this goes on my hair so the first thing i'm going to go in and do is use the moisturizing shampoo i actually did like the shampoo like it was very nice it was very moisturizing on my hair and i was actually able to like run my fingers through my hair with the shampoo with no type of dryness or tangle so i actually really like that shampoo after i rinse the shampoo out you can actually see my hair looks like so moisturized and like shiny almost but after i do that i'm going to go and go in with the moisturizing conditioner um the conditioner was okay it wasn't the best conditioner i use but um this was a consistency it was really weird i never had a conditioner with that kind of consistency it was like very stretchy type of um consistency but um it was a little bit moisturizing i wish it was more moisturizing and a little thicker because i didn't detangle my hair with a comb but um the conditioner was decent even though i didn't detangle my hair with a comb i just decided to do a little bit of finger detangling um just to help you know with the tangles and everything since i wasn't going to use a comb but yeah So this is my hair with the conditioner all in it and I decided to go ahead and we're going to rinse it out and we're going to go in with the moisturizing cocoa water. This is supposed to be the replacement for actual water when you spray your hair trying to re-wet it. It's supposed to be a replacement. I hated that uh, spray bottle though because it was hurting my hand. I don't really like that spray bottle nozzle. But um, the next thing I went in with was the moisturizing leave-in conditioner. Um, and every product in this collection has black Jamaican castor oil and um, coconut oil in it. But this leave-in conditioner had the same consistency as the conditioner, that very stretchy consistency. But it was moisturizing and then I went in with the curling jelly, moisturizing curling jelly. Now, when I put this on top of that leave-in conditioner, it did something really weird. Like, once I worked it in, it felt like it turned into like a foaming mousse, if that made sense. Like, when I was working it in, I kept hearing like this foaming noise. And I looked at my hands, and it actually had like foam on it. So I was kind of confused about that. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, or if it's not supposed to do that. I don't know. But that really like confused me. But uh, I'm just using those two products back and forth. And I'm doing my very first wash and go. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about wash and go. So I decided to do my very first one. Um, I'm actually going to redo, you know, the wash and go with a tutorial and stuff like that. But this is just a hairstyle I wanted to try out with these products. So I just put um, both of those products on my hair. And it really did give me some nice definition. And this is where I was trying to show you guys the foaminess going on. I was a little confused about that. Um, I'm not sure why I was doing that. Okay, and these are my results, my wash and go results on wet hair. I had a whole lot of definition and I was so nervous because this is my first time doing a wash and go. So I was so nervous, but I had a lot of definition as you can see. So it's the next day. I actually sat under the hair dryer um, the night before for probably like two hours just to speed up the drying process. And this is the next day with my hair. 
honestly i had really 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 bad flakes i don't know if it's because i put so much product in my hair or if those two products weren't meant to be mixed together i don't know i actually reached out to the company and told them but i haven't got a reply back yet so i had really really bad flakes and that was really annoying um so even though my hair was looking great my hair still felt moisturized it felt so soft y'all like it felt really nice but i had flakes and i was so confused so i'm unsure if it's because i used so much of the product or those products just flake or they don't mix mix together well i don't know but um that's the one downfall and the one con that was really like ugh. but other than that um i used the hair dryer to stretch out my wash and go a little bit because it was so shrunken so i used the hair dryer at my roots on low to stretch out the wash and go and i also i also used my pick to stretch it out as well and to shape Alright guys, so this is my final look. Like I said, I had so much definition and my hair was so soft, but I did have some residue still in my hair and flakes and stuff. So that's the one con and the one annoying thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.